In this video, we'll be looking at how to write Markdown in VS Code. I have my document here. I'm going to set it as Markdown. And what we need to do is get the extension that will allow us to write down Markdown. So we just type Markdown and we want the Markdown all-in-one extension. So we'll install that. Close this out. I'll create a another window here. And we want to hit the Control Shift V. Oh, I guess I didn't need that. And this is going to give us a preview window next to our document so we can see the changes immediately. Get rid of this. And now we have Markdown. So we can do things like create a heading. And as you can see on the right, we see the result of that. We can do things like add a line, another subheading. We could do lists, so item one. And then as you can see it creates another item or another list item for us. And item three. We can of course italicize text, so this text italic. You see the results there. We can do bold. Oh, I didn't do that right. There we go. And now we have bold text. We can create our links. So link here. And we can just say p Com. And of course, we have the link. And if we click it, it opens up the link. So that's pretty nice. And so that is Markdown in VS Code. Pretty simple. Again, the extension is the Markdown all in one. And if we look at the settings here, let me go ahead and reopen my editor so we can. I think the settings needs to be populated. There we go. So when we look at the settings for the extension, oh, let's get rid of that. We can change the italic indicator to be the default star or underscore. We can set the list indention size. We can set how lists are structured. We can auto show preview to side, which I'll have enabled. And we can do things like set whether we want to print the current document as HTML when we save out. We can choose the theme for when we type in code blocks. I'll pick dark. And some other S settings that you can kind of look through. But for the most part, I just want to be able to go ahead and write some markdown. And this is very useful if you're writing a lot of content in your CMS, like WordPress, and you prefer to write your articles in markdown. Well, now you have an easy way to do it in VS Code. And that's it for this video.